we have this once a year, Girls' Day Out. It's a camp uh, where more than 120 people are visiting different companies and one of the companies, the best, best company of course, is Bosch Charleston. We got to kick off the three-day camp by opening our doors to rising eighth and ninth grade girls from across the Low Country. So when the girls arrived, they started out in different locations. I'm so glad that you're at Bosch. So we had one station that was really fun called Production Wars. And it's a competition, and it was all about teamwork. The girls were working together. Each of them had responsibilities assigned to them on what they needed to do to make a car. We're protecting you from electricity. So from there, they moved on to a safety station. Based on different jobs, we require our associates to wear different types of personal protective equipment. So there was a relay race allowing the girls to try on different types of clothing and uniforms that are required. So that really increased their awareness through a fun activity. And then that was followed also by an activity based on electricity and showing how they could turn their bodies into human conductors. Moving on, they went into our manufacturing facility where they were able to learn about the electronic stability units. So the girls were exposed to different types of measurement tools. They learned what calibration means. I help out and assist with the uh, schematics. And lastly, girls were in a room with five to six different types of female leaders in our plant who were all in STEM careers. Personal protection. So STEM equipment. and women in engineering is something what we really would like to advocate and to promote. So this is one thing, but we're also looking for the future workforce. I'm a woman in engineering and there's not many of us. We want to motivate and encourage girls to get, go into engineering because we need more girls and women in engineering. Most girls don't realize even that manufacturing careers are options and that it's here in Charleston. And so for the last three years, we have opened the doors really because we see it's important. I live right across the street, so I've seen it a lot, but I've never really come in. When I came in, I was expecting it to be like a boring, like dirty factory like you usually see. But when I came in, I was very happy and upbeat. Everybody was smiling and waving. And they just seemed to having, be having a good time today. Like, they wanted us to be here, and they seemed very happy that we are here. For the girls to come and see how it works, not just hearing it from people, seeing the people working and all the different jobs that they do have. I didn't really think about engineering as, I don't know, something that I might consider. But after coming to see this tour, it, it kind of just, my views on that just changed. And I don't know, I really liked Boss, and I, I would consider working here. It's a really great facility. Opening our doors allows us to really show what advanced manufacturing looks like today and gives them something to look forward to. It's really cool to see innovation, robots, and a bunch of strong women in this type of environment.